Then for Chelsea, one of the players they mm, requested in terms of information to know how much the player cost, how much would be the cost of the deal in general, it was last week, is Bradley Barcoladi. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market and today guys we touch on what's going on for Mohamed Kudus, Bradley Barcola, Brennan Johnson and Chelsea rumours we had in the last 24 hours but also the situation of Harry Maguire and what's going on for Mason Greenwood. Let's jump into it together. <music> Let me start this video today by mentioning the situation of Mohamed Kudus and Bradley Barcola because today we also had rumors about Brennan Johnson and Chelsea in the last two three days but from what I'm hearing it's not a priority target for Chelsea. Brennan Johnson, there are no concrete negotiations with Nottingham Forest at this stage then we know that in the final days of the transfer window Everything can happen, but as of today, Chelsea are not considering Brennan Johnson their priority target for that position, which is a priority. So a player who can play as a winger, as a number 10, a creative player who can help uh, the team, also because of the injury, of course, of Christopher Nkunku and Carney, who will be out for the next six weeks. So Chelsea are looking for that kind of player, but Brennan Johnson is not the priority target. And for Chelsea, one of the players they mm, requested in terms of information to know how much the player cost, how much would be the cost of the deal in general, it was last week, is Bradley Barcola, this fantastic talent from Olympique Lyon. Incredible player. But I told you in the last few days, yes, Chelsea asked for information on Barcola, but the player is giving priority to... Uh, Paris Saint-Germain uh, and this is very clear since June because in June when the player changed his agent and he's now with George Mendes the conversation between Barcola and PSG over personal terms was very advanced almost agreed so basically Barcola said yes to PSG and they started to negotiate between clubs what's happening that after two months of negotiations now PSG tonight this is the feeling I'm getting they are very, very nervous about the situation, not happy at all, very tense, and they feel this deal is entering into key stages, but could be the end of this story if Olympique Lyon don't change their position. Um, they are not happy at Paris Saint-Germain because they feel that Olympique Lyon are always changing the asking price. One day is one number, another day is a different number, so they are making the deal very difficult for PSG. The player wants to go to PSG, but between clubs is complicated. So let's follow the story between PSG and Barcola, because it could be the opportunity for other clubs, like Chelsea, to try and enter the race. But at the moment, remains with the favourite uh, Paris Saint-Germain, but on player side, because on club side, the situation is getting complicated. And then Mohamed Kudus. Uh, I told you that today West Ham had a new bid rejected by Ajax. They submitted a proposal on Tuesday and the bid was 42 million euros, a loans included, and Ajax said no. But it's strange one point of the story. That Ajax said no, despite this bid was bigger than the bid they received from Brighton and they accepted a couple of days ago. So Brighton bid a couple of weeks ago was lower than uh, West Ham bid and in that case they accepted and the deal was in standby because of the player, not because of the clubs. Now with West Ham they are rejecting. Why? Because first of all I still hope for Mohamed Kudus to stay at the club for one more season or at least until January. So this is the biggest hope and dream for Ajax. But also they feel that in the final days of the window some very big club could enter the race and try to put big money on Mohamed Kudus. They know that in the market there are many clubs looking for that kind of player and this is why Ajax at the moment are not accepting 42 million euros from West Ham. Let's see if West Ham will return with a new bid or leave the negotiation. Let's see what what happens with clubs like Chelsea, they called in July to be informed on Kudus. Let's see what happens again with Brighton, because they agreed between clubs, but not with the player. Of course, now looks complicated because of personal terms. And let's see what happens also with Arsenal, because Arsenal in June called for Kudus, then they invested big money on uh, uh, Kai Havertz and all the other players they signed this summer, including Timber and Declan Rice. So that's why with Arsenal nothing was going to continue, but never say never. So that's why uh, Ajax decided to wait and not to accept West Ham proposals. That's the point. Let's see what happens with Mason Greenwood also, guys, because Man United are looking for solutions. Uh, their priority is to find something not in England. Of course, they are prepared to let him go, uh, as they stated in public, but their priority would be not to have Mason Greenwood against Man United. So obviously not to have the player in England. So what's the point? 
The priority is on the Italian, Turkish market, some other country, they are uh, trying to find the best solution for the player, the discussion is ongoing, but Man United will try till the end to avoid any solution in England. Otherwise, it's, if it's going to be the only one, could be an option, but the priority is outside England. So this is going to be the conversation, but of course, Greenwood is out of Manchester United. And for Harry Maguire, what I can say today is that First of all, uh, West Ham announced Mavropanos, so with West Ham, it's over. For Man United, for Maguire, it's very clear. The player could leave for £30 million. Pounds. No other clubs, as of today, offer £30 million, pounds, but in case that kind of bid arrives, for Man United, the situation of Maguire remains open. But it's not just about the club, because the maguire West Ham deal collapsed because of the player, so it's crucial to see if the potential new solution would be agreed by the player. But what I can tell you is that in the last 48 hours, May United told the agents of Benjamin Pavard that they, at the moment, are no longer in the race and the player can join Inter because, at the moment, they are not negotiating with any other club for Harry Maguire. So they expect Maguire to stay. Only a bid around £30 million pounds in the final nine days of the window could uh, change the situation. But, at the moment, the feeling is very clear. For Maguire, everything is quiet. And for Pavard, it's gonna be Inter. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, from Kudus to Brennan Johnson to Barcola to Harry Maguire, Mason Greenwood, I wait for your comments. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!